In this week's video, I've been asked how I can create corner reliefs uh, within my sheet metal models. So, the first thing I'm going to do is switch to the sheet metal toolbar on this design that I've got here. There's a few different ways of actually inserting corner reliefs within your design. Uh, one of those actually comes from the model when it's in a flat, flattened state. So if I click the flatten button, it'll flatten my design. Now if I'd like to insert a uh, relief inside the model when it's in a flattened state, I can do that just from the corners drop down just here. You'll see there's a corner trim option. Uh, you'll see at the top in the corner trim option, you can actually bring up and have a look at the relief options. So in here we can either go in and manually select an edge to add corner relief onto that, or we can click this button here, collect all corners, and it just collects them all, uh, puts them all in this design. Uh, I can then adjust the position of this relief just here. If I zoom in slightly, we can have it centered on the bend lines, so it moves it across from the edge you select to the bend line position there. Um, you can add a dimension for the size of this item, so I could put it in at 3mm perhaps, and I could have a, a ratio to the thickness uh, of the design if I'd wanted it to, to define it differently rather than using 3mm. Uh, we will end up with some sharp corners on the corners just here, so we can add filleted corners in here to just add in a very slight fillet on the corners on the edge there. Uh, you can also do break corner as well with this tool, so it allows you to just break off the edge uh, of a design just to cut off that sharp edge as well. Okay, but if I'm happy, I can hit the tick and that will insert those reliefs onto my design. Now, that's all very well and good, but when we come out of the flattened state, you'll find that those items disappear, because anything added to the flat pattern, you may already know, uh, won't come through in the folded form. So, in recent versions, SolidWorks have actually inserted a new tool, actually called Corner Relief, from your folded state, and you can actually do it within here. For this one, what I'd normally recommend is just to click the button to collect all corners, first of all, and that will pick up all the edges which you could add the corner release onto. Uh, with them all selected in this box here, I can define and set the same settings to all of them. Or I could manually select just corner 2 and 3, for example, uh, and add a certain corner relief type to those, going back to select the other ones afterwards. I'll keep them all selected here, and then I'll just choose my corner relief type from these options down the bottom here. You'll see it'll actually allow me to choose between the different relief types. So I'll go for a circular one again. I can set it to the same size. I've got similar options to what I had before to centre on bend lines if I want to, uh, and add a ratio to thickness. If I hit the tick in here, that will add, then add my release onto the model, uh, and you'll see that this time they're showing the folded form. Now if I go to the flattened state, you'll see that when we click on that, it then takes us through to the flattened form, and the corner release is still within the model at that point as well. So that's how we have the two types of corner release within SolidWorks. I'll leave it to you to uh, pick and choose when desired as to which one you'd like to use. Thanks very much for watching.